Look to the left, look to the right. Any cars? No. <gasps> I saw a monster! Oh, God. Welcome to the world of Little Miss Fortune. Today, she will die. Each choice that you make will have a different consequence, and we'll see you playing the game multiple times just to see what the different scenes are. Made by the people who did Frambo, this is in my top 10 games of all time. And this game does have some heavy things, so if that isn't your bag, you have been warned. But do let me know down in the comments what you did when you got up to the dog. You'll see what happens with me. But be careful, don't believe everything that you hear. Who is lying to me? Everyone, shut up. Cutscene. I love this style. Of oh, that's me! Is that a pine cone? Oh, sh! I love this game already. I love it so much. This is the best game ever. I haven't even started it. Welcome to my game. I'll be your host and humble narrator. The rules of this game are simple. Play it until the end and you'll be rewarded. This is Miss Fortune. She's a wonderful child from a not so wonderful family. A little sparkle for you and a little sparkle for you and a little bit for me. <laughs> Oh, the sad part oh. is, today is the day she will die. I can hear you, you know. Oh, you can? Mm-hmm. Are you inside my head or something? Hmm. Well, okay. Yes. <laughs> All right. I'll call you Mr. Voice. What did you say about me dying today? Die? No. Nobody said anything about anyone dying today. Huh. Nobody said nothing? You know, I have prepared a game for you. A game? Really? For me? I love if games. If you can reach the end of the game, I'll give you eternal happiness. Deal? Eternal happiness? I guess I could give that to my mommy. Uh. Okay, it's a deal. Oh, sh Wonderful. Fantastic. Ready to play? Yes. Your first mission is to leave the house. That's hard. Okay. I'm gonna do it. I like to move my body. <laughs> mm hmm It's the music that goes on forever. Benjamin! That was that fox at the beginning! Look, I drew this picture. It's the fox I see outside my window sometimes. Is he gonna I save us? Him Benjamin. Benjamin! He's a really cute fox. He is very cute. I don't care much for foxes. He, oh, there's something going on between him and. Mm. I saw a monster in here once. I showed it the finger and it never came back. <laughs> okay, so I can either go into the house. Or I can go under the bed to the other side of the house. Look, <gasps> this is my secret hiding spot. Oh, impressive. But why do you need a hiding spot? I don't like it when mommy and daddy argue too much. And when I come here, I can dream and travel far away. I see. <laughs> Dude. This is Babsy, the guardian of the secret spot. You see his eye? He got that from a battle against a monster. A monster? That sounds scary. It was. This is so good! Why have I not played this game before? Why have I not even heard of this game until recently? This is my diary. Nobody's allowed to read it. Want to see? I like to play a lot with my toys. I like to talk to them because I'm honestly getting teared up right now. I don't know if it's because I'm in like a state of like adrenaline or something, but f me. Hello, diary. At school, I drew, and at home, I was at my hiding spot talking to Bubsy, and I heard it. I saw a fox walking outside my room. He's called Benjamin, I think. <laughs> Benjamin. Ugh, that fox. Yes. 
Hello diary, my dad lied to me again. Not going out to the park today. I made myself pretty, but he doesn't care. I feel sad, I cried, but told mommy I'm okay. I'm afraid if I tell her I'm sad, she'll be angry. Sometimes I don't know how to feel. Nobody's teaching me how to feel. I wish in school they'd teach us where feelings come from, but for reals, no fairy tales. Hello diary, my, ah, uh, that is, ah. Uh, this is like an immediate backstory for this like animated girl who I've only known for like, what, five minutes? Maybe daddy can't see he's hurting me too when he hits mummy. I promise I will never be like my daddy. I played today that I took a plane to Japan and saw interesting things. I know about Japan because my friend is Japanese. He likes sushi. My Japanese friend speaks Japanese. They're very problematic when we want to talk. It's hard to understand each other. It's confusing, but I like him. He has a pair of sweet boots and a cowboy hat. His name is Hiro, and he's a ghost. I drew him a picture, but I never gave it to him. That's Hiro, my Japanese friend. He's a ghost. I found a picture of me when I was younger. Time goes fast. The cake looks yummy. Look at that picture. I was such a baby. Very cute. Now I'm such a lady. <laughs> I'm a little lady. That's what I am. Coloring book. That's what we need to do now. I love my coloring book. There's choices. What to do with the coloring book? Take coloring book with you, leave coloring book for Bubsy. Because if poor little Miss Fortune's going to the other side today, would it be a nice thing to leave for Bubsy? Bubsy's the bear. I gotta leave it for Bubsy. That's my choice. Nah, I'll just leave it here for Bubsy, you know, the toddy. Before you leave, which toy do you choose to bring with you? Oh, sheesh! Can I take them both? No, you can only choose one. And remember, your choice is much more important than you think. Oh, God, okay. what's my choices? I choose... Unicorn or a stone? I mean, the unicorn's cool, but that stone has got character, right? I feel like a stone's gonna be worthwhile. Never goes anywhere. I'm going stone all the way. I choose the stone that you threw at me once. Interesting choice. I didn't yeah, know that. I call him Stony because he's a stone. Get it? <laughs> Stony the stone. That's very clever. I didn't that realize it. Oh no! Is that blood at the top? Sheesh. Ah, and so you know. I like to sprinkle sparkle on things so they become fabulous. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Happiness to everything! Hey, you, on the other side of the screen. Me? Remember I told you she was going to die today. Let's keep that a secret between us. I know. All right. There's the fox! Benjamin! This is Grandma. She wears a diaper <laughs> too. <laughs> You still wear a diaper? Nah, that was so last year. <laughs> I'm getting hit in the feels, bro. I'll shift to run, okay. Oh, oh please don't fall, don't fall. Damn it, it's all broken now. That was a beautiful example of cause and effect. Please don't tell on me. Don't worry, you can trust me. Okay, thank you. Hmm, maybe I could try to fix it. I say we try and fix the broken vase, huh? I mean, I, what's, what's the harm? Although we could cut ourselves. Is this another cause and effect? Is that going to be like another lesson that he teaches us? All right, I'm going to go fix. I'm going to go fix. Oh, oh my God. Puzzle time. I didn't... Oh, jeez. A few moments later. I did it. Good, it's new. If it falls over when I leave, I'm going to be pissed. Mommy said she married daddy because she was expecting me. She wanted to have an abortion, but it's illegal and against the law. That's kind of the same thing. <laughs> yes. I see why they call a little misfortune. There's a lot of misfortune in what's... But you know what we're learning? She's a positive being. Ugh, it smells like cigarettes in here. Is that mom? Yeah, that's my mommy. She also likes to drink juice a lot. <laughs> well, are you ready to complete your first mission? Yes, I am. I'm gonna get that prize. Oh, dead rabbits again? When will daddy learn I like them alive? <laughs> Mommy, this milk 
smells really bad. <laughs> Dead animals. That's what it is. Yaks forever. Yay! Happiness to the soup! <laughs> Happiness all around. Chat, we're just gonna make everything better with glitter, right? We had a lovely dinner last night. Mommy wasn't that drunk, and Daddy actually said hi to me. Okay. I'm sorry. This is killing me, man. This is so feely. Tell mommy you're leaving. Oh, dude. Yeah, of course. Of course. Why would I not tell mommy I'm leaving? What? Like, what? I'm going out to play, mommy. Good day, morning. <laughs> it's afternoon, Miss Fortune. Ah, okay. Good afternoon, morning. Oh. <laughs> I love her. I don't care what anyone says. She must be treasured. Forever and ever. Remember Benjamin the Fox? Yeah. This is where I first saw him. He was hiding in the trash and we made eye contact. It was really intense. You shouldn't trust the fox. They're all criminals. Okay, there's something going on with Benjamin and him. Fox criminal? <laughs> That's silly. I hope Benjamin's like a good dude trying to help us. The real question is, who is the narrator? We know he's got nefarious reasons. This bowl smells like a toilet. <laughs> Because I pee on it. <laughs> that is disgusting. Not as disgusting as when my daddy puked in it. That was disgusting. <laughs> my God, dude. Can I, can I, can I make it? <laughs> ah! <laughs> this is where daddy often sleeps. Daddy? So, before we continue, you need to know the rules of the game. Yes, tell me the rules. Oh. Remember, you will be given choices on your journey. Okay. Okay, choices. There is no right or wrong, only consequences. Okay, okay, only consequences. When you beat the game, the prize of eternal happiness is yours. I'm ready. Your next mission is to cross this oh, road. Oh, God. All right, I can do that. Look to the left, look to the right. Right. Any course? No. Okay, I'm going. Oh, God. <gasps> I saw a monster. What monster? I didn't see any. I think I should be on this side. It was there. I saw it. It's probably just your imagination. Maybe yeah, he's that dude. That's true. I have a very big one. Just keep going. We'll have so much fun. Oh, damn. Oh. There's an opening title sequence? They need to make this into a, a movie or something. Glitter it! Yeah! <laughs> you! Dude, banger. Absolute banger. Isaac and Natalia Martinson. Possibly a uh, couple or brother, sister. Now focus, Miss Fortune. Oh. You have to make a very difficult choice regarding this puppy now. Be aware of the consequences. D please give me something All easy. Right. I think playing with it is the best thing to do because I reckon if I set it free, right, it's just going to run into traffic. Although it feels like because I'm little Miss Fortune, everything I touch becomes misfortunate. So... I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play with the dog. I will play with it, so we can share a nice time together. Good choice. Now, throw the ball at it. At it? Ah, that ball. Okay. <laughs> oh. Puppy! What did I do? It's all broken now, Mr. Voice. 
Everything I touch breaks. What's wrong with me? There's nothing wrong with you. Sometimes life is just unfair. But I'm here for you. Really? <laughs> Thank you. Well, I, I didn't do it. It wasn't a fucking... What party? The owner of this dog, George, is having a party. I think you have to go and tell James, him. I didn't mean to. Accident. Ah, uh, yes. The I didn't. I didn't. Let's go. It's just a bit farther ahead. All right. What if I give it some sparkles? I'm sorry, I broke you, puppy. I really am. I'll take the party hat as a symbol of our friendship. You saw nothing. Nothing is what you saw. Um. I got a party hat though. That's that's a win. What happens if I throw sparkles on the dog poo? <laughs> I'm gonna walk through the dog poo. I. Oh no! I step on doggy doo. Oh. <laughs> How can I turn this situation around? I know. Damn it! <laughs> Nothing. You know, once at this lake. I got my head stuck in a plastic bag. I remember falling asleep and waking up in the hospital. <laughs> That's terrible. Yeah, I almost died. I... What the f***? <laughs> Throw glitter at the birds, kick them in the balls. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, hey, I'm not going to kick them in the balls. They, they don't have balls. Glitter toss. Signature move. Just the... I want to see the the cinematic for kicking them in the balls. I'll kick. They may be trying to help me, you know? Okay. My glitter is shiny. So if I throw glitter at the birds, they will only see shiny. And they will get confused and leave me alone. Exactly. That sounds like a solid plan, Miss Fortune. All right, here I go. Go. Good job. <laughs> this is taking a long time. We didn't even go that high up. <laughs> Time seems She's to slow the best. down when we are in danger. She's so good. Am I in danger? You're always in danger. Hey, look, a birdie. Hello, birdie. Is that flipping me off? Oh, that was a rude bird. She's just chill. Oh, why didn't I break my legs and die? Mm. It's give me the bird. Genius. Falling. Thank you. <laughs> this game is the best. So, Mr. Boys, is the party on the same line to the eternal happiness? Yes. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Oh, that's convenient. Have you thought about how to break the news to George? About the puppy? Yes. I mean, about the puppy? If you want to. I think I got to tell George. Y no. Yes, I'm going. I'm, it's a responsible thing to do. If I'm the one. Who murdered the dog? Not me, little misfortune. Remember, we got to separate the the streamer from the player. Um, of course, got to tell. Of course, of course, of course. Yes, of course. That's the least I can do for the sweet puppy. I didn't murder it. That's very brave of you, misfortune. Thank you. Hello, how are you? Oh. Ah, a fish. What should we do about it? I, I want the best for Little Misfortune. And I feel what she puts out into the world is what she gets back from it, right? Staunch believer. His name is Rodrigo and he needs a new place to stay. Rodrigo the fish. He looks dope. I wonder if Rodrigo has heard about sushi. <laughs> it's like Rodrigo put in tiny pieces, you know? <laughs> and here we are. The house of George. George, you boy! I'm a bit nervous about introducing myself. You'll do fine. You're brave telling the truth about the puppy. Yeah. Stop it. I'm doing it for the puppy, you know. <laughs> oh, that's a dead fish. I can make it come alive. Check this out. 
<laughs> I thought the power of sparkles would... All right. I saw a man once floating in the lake, just like this fisher. Is that George? I wish I had a picture like this with my mommy and daddy. Hello? What is it, Miss Fortune? Nothing. Are you sure this is the right house? Where is the party? Hello? Hello? Excuse me, are you George? Are you the owner of a puppy? Because I bring really bad news. Oh no, wait. It looks like he hung himself. Hung himself? Like a piñata? Should I hit him like a piñata? No, Miss Fortune. He's dead. Dead? But he's wearing a pair of sweet boots. He, he can't be dead. Miss Fortune, I think this party's over. Let's leave. I'll meet you in the back. George, you know, now that you're dead, your puppy is gone. I like the puppy. Bye. Shut up! Happiness to George the Piñata! <laughs> okay, I'm here now. Let's go into the woods and get that eternal happiness. Yes! I love her run oh, animation. I love the woods. With the trees and I and love the birds the animation. and the animals. Dangerous animals, Miss Fortune. You might run into a fox. A fox? Like Benjamin? Yes, but all foxes are evil, so keep your eyes open. Uh, all right. Huh, what's this? A doll? It's like a... Everything begins with the song of a jackdaw. Interesting. I'll keep it. Hey, what do you have there? Nothing. Secrets are being kept in this game from both parties. Interesting. Oh. Stay back, Miss Fortune. <gasps> what is it? A wild, dangerous fox. Wait, I recognize that black tail. It's Benjamin. Benji boy! It doesn't matter. Attack it before it kills you. No, I don't think Benjamin will kill me. <laughs> <laughs> Benji! It's me! Hello, is your name Benjamin? Do you want to play with me? Oh no, don't go! You scared oh. him away, chat. That's on you. <sighs> what a relief. We are safe now. Let's keep playing my game. Okay. There's a magical cave nearby. You need to find it. Maybe I will. A magical cave? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Oh, it looks like Benjamin likes to paint. That's pretty cool. I like that in a fox. <laughs> Focus, Miss Fortune. We need to keep going. She's the best, oh, okay. dude. She's so good. No, we can't. Not even on the sacrificial... I did a, I did a thing. It's like, as soon as you walk five feet, you can see tragedy is afoot. Oh, is this the magical cave? It doesn't look that magical. Just wait until you go inside. <laughs> oh, I like the sound of that. <laughs> I have a question. What does this sign mean? Oh, I don't know. Sparkle? Ah, cool. This cave is huge. Echo. Echo. Well, let's explore the cave. Let's do it. Okay. 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 <laughs> I'm just joking. There was no echo. It was me. Are oh, you? Real you are. Fortune. Thank you. <gasps> what was that? What? Did I miss something? <laughs> I'm not sure. It's a bear riding a car with a scarf. What is happening? What's this? A hamster party? A magical hamster party. I know you love parties. <laughs> Do I? <laughs> Can we go inside? I don't know. Let's go find out. 
What is going on, dude? What the f is happening? Ugh, hamster fight. Are you going to do something about it? No matter what I do, they're gonna die, right? I don't want to get involved in their drama. Try one so I can keep my breath fresh. I'm a little lazy, you know. <laughs> do not do it. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, I'm feeling really nice. I have. <laughs> She's tripping balls, dude. Oh, she's grinning out. She's grinning out. <laughs> oh my god, bro. Uh, that was a How much can... at all. <laughs> Are you all right, Miss Fortune? I'm okay. Excuse me. Hold a little lady getting inside. No, I'm not very important. You said, okay. <laughs> can you believe this guy, Mr. Voice? We have to find another way out now. She oh god, it's Sadie. Out. I think she's in trouble. Oh no, I think I recognize her. She's the owner of the club back there. Really? Yes. Looks like she was robbed. Oh boy, I bet it was that hamster with the black mask. Yes, you're right. Hey! Excuse me, I think I have your purse. Go easy on the mint, though. I tried one and it was a wild ride. Is that <gasps> for me? Oh, what is it? Let's go! We're gonna see some dude hamsters up in the. I mean, if you are not over the age of, what, 18, um, please uh, exit. That's your reward for returning the bag. A VIP ticket for the club. I get to party inside the club? We'll see. <laughs> Yes, and one step closer to the eternal happiness. <laughs> That's a win-win for me. Yeah, it is. Excuse me, I'm a very VIP. <laughs> Here's my ticket. <laughs> Finally, a real party. We're going in. Wow, this place is so sweet. Holy sh! This is, is awesome. This VIP floor. Yes, you could say that. Am I allowed to dance? Of course you are. <laughs> Sweet. Listen, Miss Fortune, you need to find the white rabbit. A white rabbit? Is this Why? the Matrix right now? It will lead you closer to the eternal happiness. Okay, I'll find it. Look, the white rabbit. Oh. Follow it. Yes. I'm, I'm following. Oh, sh**. Hey, you. On the other side of the screen. Listen, huh? I know it must be hard not knowing much about our little lady's future. Yeah. Will Miss Fortune really die? If so, how will she die? And when will the evil fox kill her? She does. Will she find the eternal happiness? I personally hope she does. <clears throat> Act normal. She's coming. <laughs> Look. A missing kid. Did you see that woman with the mask over her face? Call 112. Anybody got a phone? The music's like so good. This. Maybe I should go back home. Bye. <laughs> Don't go now, Miss Fortune. I can protect you. Really? Yes. All right, then. <laughs> There's another one. The hell? This game is brilliant. It really is. Hello? Hello? What? Was that death in a car? Look, a 
It's Benjamin. Yo, Benjamin. Benjamin. <laughs> what up, yeah. my guy? If you ever want to hang out or something, I'm available. So am I. Don't engage with that wild fox. I told you, foxes are dangerous. Let me handle this. Benji, are you a wild, dangerous fox? <gasps> no, Benji, don't go. Let that wild beast run off. I don't want anything bad happening to you. All right. Ah, oh, this is Benji's stuff. This is absolutely That's what we saw in the, the best art I alternate have reality. Ever seen. It's so personal. I didn't know Benjamin was so creative. Creative? That looks like a child has drawn it. I can't what believe. Did you just say? Oh, I didn't mean it like that. Huh. Kids hey, should never draw, should is what we're saying. Focusing on finding the prize. I'm focused. So done, you fuck. Misfortune. What? Language. Ah. <laughs> they just keep throwing curveballs at me, man. Mr. Voice? Yes, Miss Fortune? Has anyone reached the end of the game and gotten the eternal happiness? Yes, of course. Of course. They lived happily oh, ever God. after. That sounds nice. You know, I want to win this prize for my mommy. Aww. I wish I could give her some happiness. My sparkle doesn't work with her. Oh, that's really sweet of you. Thank you. Would you like to try my sparkle? That's not necessary. <laughs> Don't be silly. Here you go. Happiness to Mr. Boys. Oh, well. Thank you. Anyway, let's go find the prize and make mommy proud. Yes. Jesus Christ, man. Oh, mm, no. Maybe. What if Miss Fortune was like the daughter of the, the, the Grim Reaper or something? La muerte. That means death or something? poetry written on the bench. Death is alive and it's eating from you. Sign M. Mm, interesting. What do you think? <clears throat> Miss Fortune, do you really need to read those poems? Yeah. Listen to this one. Both hanging too low. No signature. Where are they hanging from? Oh, look. A drawing of a cat. Come on, Miss Fortune. Let's go. All right. Oh, God. Look at the seagull. It's chat again. It looks like Kevin's dad. <laughs> Who's that? He used to sit in the sandbox next to school. He didn't have any clothes on. And the police officer beat him with a stick. Sheesh. Fascinating. Remember that fish you picked up? Oh, yeah. You mean Rodrigo, my fish friend forever? You should give it to the seagull. I'm sure it would appreciate some company. Hmm. I guess that maybe that will be a fair thing to maybe do, I guess. Do we want to give Rodrigo to a drunk seagull? But the seagull's just going to eat it, right? No, we're going to keep Rodrigo. Give him a fish he eats for a day. Teach him to fish. He eats for an eternity. Honestly, spite the narrator, so we're not going to give the... Keep the fish. If you want a fish friend forever, you need to find your own. Rodrigo is my responsibility. That's very mature of you, Miss Fortune. Oh, get down. Duck. Let's just go, Miss Fortune. You don't want to get involved with ducks. <laughs> don't be silly. Ducks are pretty cool. That's a pretty cool. <laughs> he's playing a boombox. This could be my opportunity to finally dance for real. Would you like to show me some of your dance moves? He's just smoking a f blunt, dude. Show our dance skills. All right. Let's do it. Oh, show him what you got. Check this out. Clear it out, fellas. Clear it out. Oh, go, oh. <laughs> oh, it's okay, it's okay. That was unfortunate. What are you talking about? That was normal. Oh, if you say so. When the trees are naked, when the wind is cold, when the smell of rotten apple smashes against the stone. Mm, apple pie. Apple pie. What are you talking about, Miss Fortune? Nothing. Nothing. We are on the same page, Miss Fortune and I. This looks like the art of Benjamin, don't you think? I think it's garbage, and it should be erased with fire. Really? I see great potential here. He's obviously very artistic. 
Just ignore it. Let's keep playing my game. The prize is closer than you think. Ooh. Really? All right. All right, all right, all right. This game is so good. Uh, I can almost feel the eternal happiness. Good. The last challenge awaits at the pet cemetery. A pet cemetery? That sounds like the best place to end the game. Exactly my thoughts. I'm glad you feel the same way. <laughs> I don't trust this narrator so, either. I was thinking while we're walking, mind if I ask you a couple of questions? Bring them. Sure. I'm pretty good at answering questions. Great. Just answer as honestly as you can. All right. All right. First question. Have you ever stolen anything? This is little misfortune on me. I think she's stolen something. She's a heart stealer, right? Swiss army knife once. I felt so bad, I buried it in the yard and never told him. Oh, I'm so sorry for the both of you. <laughs> Second question. Are you happy right now? I think she's very happy. I mean, oblivious. Possibly. But happy. Happy as you can be given the circumstances that she has to deal with. Nothing bad is happening right now. That makes me happy. Well then, the last question. Do you feel loved? This is a tough one. I, I, I'd like to believe she feels loved, loved. But when we hear the backstory of her dad, you know, and the mom, and then I think we got to go with no, right? No, that's why I like my Stony so much. He's just a rock and doesn't get angry or sad. I wish I could be like that sometimes. Thank you for your honesty. You're welcome. <laughs> Look, we arrived at the pet cemetery. Oh, shake this out. More kids are missing. If I go missing, how will I tell mommy? You won't go missing. We'll go back home right after we find the prize. Okay, nice. <laughs> She's so cool, dude. Ready to find the prize of eternal happiness. Yes, where is it? I have hidden it in one of the graves. I have to dig in a grave? Which one? I'll give you a hint. It's where the goldfish is buried. The goldfish, all right. All right. Must I dig with my <laughs> tiny hands? Yikes forever. No, use the shovel. What shovel? She's this so cool. Shovel. Ah, that shovel. Okay. <laughs> ah, that shovel. Okay. Hamabi Driaki Rogard. Does anybody know him? This one says Denise died surrounded by her loved ones in a fire. <laughs> Smells like hot dogs. I guess it's not the fish. Sorry, Rock Pig. Because, because it was burnt. I'll, okay. It says, Mr. Mr. Bubbles. Bubbles. Hmm. Congratulations, Miss Fortune. You found the prize. You! Really? Yes. You see the little box? Open it. Oh, okay. Exciting. Eternal happiness. Let's f***ing go! Is this the prize? But there's only a note. What? Yes, it says, I stole your eternal happiness. Sign, Benjamin. No, 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 no. Benjamin's good, guys. This is, this is a plant. Somebody's framing Benji, my Benji boy. Where do I find eternal happiness IRL? I would go to probably uh, Universal Studios or Disneyland. <laughs> I knew the fox was trouble. He stole your prize. What a disappointment. I really wanted to surprise mommy with this. What should I do now? We must find the fox and get your happiness back. I'm sure he hasn't gone far away. Let's go find him. <gasps> Benji! Look, there he is, Benjamin. Did you steal my eternal happiness? <laughs> Not cool. Come on, Benjamin. Give me back my 
happiness? Run after him. We can't let the fox get away again. He stole the your way prize. she says Benjamin. Benjamin really disappointed me. Benjamin. I can't, dude. I don't know who this voice actress is and this voice actor, but they're so good. When unsolved children in darkness search for what they have lost for why they're in pain. What? Did you find something, Miss Fortune? No, you're imagining things. We should keep our eyes open in case we see the fox. They know how to hide. All right. Mm. Oh, shake out this stone. It's different from regular stones, I'm telling you. I think you're right. Okay. Oh, this piece is loose. I'll take it for me. Maybe it works somewhere else. Uh, yeah, let's take that bit. Aha, there. That hole looks very much like no. the fox would no. hide the prize. No. You mean I should go down no. there? No. Yes, don't worry. Nothing bad will happen. Nothing bad at all. Okay. You sound very sure. I'll trust you. What am I supposed to do with that tombstone back there? Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me just see what this is. There's nothing here. Nothing at all. I'll put it back. I'll put it back. The game of death is what beats the shadows of the bayon. The game of death? Huh. What does this mean? That looks like nonsense to me, Miss Fortune. Oh, huh, really? Maybe there's some more nonsense around. We're gonna take that. I wonder why Benjamin will steal my prize. Maybe he's not happy himself. But I need that happiness myself. And for mommy. Hello? Anybody down there? Hello? Oh no! Little Miss Fortune. Oh jeez. She lives up to her name, huh? Oh, that was a pretty big fall. <laughs> Hello? Mr. Voice, are you there? Fox repellent? I can't deny the bottle sweet style. I'll take it. <laughs> I can't deny the bottle sweet style. What? Oh. Dude, where the where the f are we going? <laughs> oh, there you are. Benjamin. What are you doing? Benjamin? Use the fox repellent on Benjamin, yes or no? I say no. Uh-uh. I reckon Benjamin's a good dude. He's got like this sweet little bag and he's got like blue eyes like myself. And he just seems chill, brother. Like this is guy that I'll just hang out with. He seems chill as hell. I reckon the narrator is more sus than Benjamin. I'm not going to use it on him. Benjamin. Oh. <laughs> I didn't know I gotten myself into. She's such a mess. Maybe it was a mistake choosing her for this. I mean, I saw her eating glitter. Who does that? Who eats glitter, chat? That's not natural. Uh. Oh, God, she threw Miss up. Fortune. <laughs> You're alive and well. That's great. Why does she keep throwing up? Yeah. Where am I? What happened? The dangerous fox attacked me. He didn't attack. attack I tripped. So he really is a bad fox. See, I told you, that fox is evil. Yeah, maybe I should listen to you. Glitter vomit we could be, need Nina. To find a fox and take back the eternal happiness. Maybe we could find out where he lives. Yes, give me a minute to figure this out and I'll get back to you. Oh, wow, look at the artwork oh, on that. The zoo. You know, with the animals? Open field zoo, is that where we're going? He just ran away. See, it's just this this narrator I man. I actually made a quick Google search. I found out that the fox has a cousin in the zoo. The zoo? Oh, really? We could go and see if he knows where the fox lives. But how do we get to the zoo? It's like really far away. True. Why, we take the bus, of course. <gasps> there should be a bus stop. Public nearby. transport in a day and age okay. like this? Huh. How did I get to the town center? Interesting. I carried you here. 
But how? You're just a voice in my head. <laughs> just a voice? No, I can do more than that, you know. Prove it. I don't need to prove anything to you. You do Whatever that. you say, Mr. Voice. Fine. You really want to see what I can do? Show me! Uh, wait, my shoelace. There. Did you see? I'm not just a voice in your head, Miss Fortune. Oh, what? Did you see? I'm sorry, I had a shoelace problem. Oh, let's just keep going then. Hi, you look familiar. Yo, what? What? Miss, um, wait a minute. Is that... Was that the lady that I just saw? Bambini? Bambini know this child? Yes, from school. She told our teacher to shove the homework up his butt. She's very Italian, you know. <laughs> she probably ran away from home. She will turn up soon. You think so? Yes. Ah, uh, okay. Why is everyone wearing creepy masks? I think it's an analogy for society, holding up a mirror to what we believe we have to pretend to be when out in public spaces, but behind closed doors, we're actually... Ah, oh, those people in the picture look so happy drinking their yous. I love that she doesn't pronounce Jace. Yous. That man just dropped his wallet. What do you want to do? I just return it. Like a good person. Wait, sir. You drop your wallet. He dropped something for me! But before we pick it up. <laughs> Mommy brings me here all the time. It's really boring. Sometimes she sends me to buy cigarettes while she hugs strangers by the dumpster. Is that so? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, no. no, dude! No! Oh, Is this for me? A lottery ticket? Cool. Thank you. Well, have I thought I was a little misfortune, but Is I'm the mum. <gasps> Chat! Oh my fing! Oh my fing god! We can win some serious buckaroonies here. One Liberty Bell. <laughs> Two Liberty Bell. Drum roll, please. Ah, uh, no win. Maybe next time. One time, mommy took me here and forgot me. I got to play inside all night until a security man found me. He thought I was a raccoon. <laughs> well, that sounds like it was a fun night for you. Yeah, except for me crying a lot, but it was fun. It says, let's face it, sometimes we're just too tired to smile. Use happy face and stop pretending. <laughs> okay. Okay. She's too precious, man. She's too precious. Look, Dude. even more missing children posters. That's a lot of missing so kids. Many. I wonder what they're missing. Oh, don't you worry about them. I'm sure they will all turn up one day. You think so? Of course. I don't know, Mr. Voice. This is starting to smell mysterious. I agree, girl. Here we are. Have you ever taken the bus all by yourself before? No, I haven't. I'm not sure what to do. Do I need a ticket? Let's find out. You need There's a ticket, come on. Board. Dude, isn't that the creepy... Look at the... Look at their hands in relation to their body. It says that all children under oh. 15 years old can ride the bus for free. Yeah! So I'm good. Great. Hmm, now that I think about it, maybe you'll need a bus ticket. You sound <laughs> old. Uh, I'm definitely older, but nobody can see me. Ah, uh, okay. Are you like 20? Yes, more or less. Ah. Uh, ah, look, we have to wait two minutes. Yikes forever. <laughs> I can't wait to meet Benjamin's cousin at Benjamin. the zoo. I'm gonna tell how badly Benjamin behaved. She said Jada. Benjamin should be ashamed. 
That sounds great. <laughs> she said Benjamin. I thought that was a snake for a second. Uh, disregard. <laughs> Shake this out. She That's didn't call me old. It's called Dickens Road. <laughs> Got it? Dickens Road. <laughs> Dick. Misfortune. Ah. Uh, Should I sit down and wait? Do as you please. Okay. Thank you. She's so good, dude. She's so precious. I'll sit. I'm a bit tired from all the walking, you know. I can imagine. You have very small feet. <laughs> yes. I'm a little lady. That's what I am. Check those old ladies out. They're a little scary, don't you think? Agreed. Honestly, I've seen worse. Really? Yes. You know, my mommy also uses the same mask. She likes to hide her smile and tears behind it. Would you like to have a mask like that? Uh, maybe. I don't know. The bus is here. Love yourself, get happy face. Come on, guys. Hmm. This bus trip might take a while. Are you okay with that? I'm fine. It's okay. Hiro is keeping me company. Who is Hiro? He's my friend from Japan. He's a ghost, you know. He's always saying, Kiriba do kudasuka. What does that really what does that mean, chap? Who speaks Japanese? There is no such thing as ghosts. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> she did oh, make that's a little bull crap. Run for your life, little baby cow. Uh unlucky things seem to happen all the time. Nesta your parkin. I think we're getting close to the zoo now. Okay, great. Well, it means where you are. I can't wait to go inside. You have the ticket, right? Where is the ticket? fog? Oh, didn't I give you a ticket earlier? What? No, you didn't. Oh dear. I'm I knew sorry. chat would like that. I totally forgot. Do you have any ideas on how to get inside? Sneak in. You know, without paying. Hmm. I saw mommy showing her boobies to the guy in the store and she got some free food. But I haven't got any titties yet, so that might not work. <laughs> I tried the same with my penis, but they said I can't see anything, so they ushered me away. What? Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Look, birdie num num. <laughs> birdie what? num num. What did you just say to me? Yeah, what you Get say to us? Oh, Miss Fortune, watch that mouth. I don't care. This bird is mean. Oh dear. We need to get your happiness back as soon as possible. Give yourself a f <laughs> Give yourself a f Num num parrot. 10 to 20 years. Omnivore widely spread around the planet. This kind of parrot lives across the entire world. They talk much, but say very little. They usually work together with human pirates. Natural born thieves, founders of the Liberation Front. <laughs> Dude, look at that wise out. Look, this bird seems pretty smart. It isn't. Trust me. <laughs> Move on, Miss Fortune. Okay. Somehow I feel offended <laughs> by this bird. Don't be. It doesn't know what it's doing. Okay. It's just flipping me off, dude. <laughs> it says, Fuck it, Ilios. This shit deals. These birds multiply at a very high rate with different partners, leaving behind dysfunctional <sighs> offspring. They don't care about anything as long as they are occupied by mindless entertainment. Oh, really? Oh, this game is everything. I'll give you some glitter because you're awesome. Yeah. You know, I'm feeling really annoyed. First try, chat. What First try. What's happening to me? I smell hormones waking up inside you. What? Homos? No. Hormones. Ah, okay. What's that? Your body is preparing to create life inside you. You get a lot of new feelings that are completely normal. Ah, okay. And you'll bleed for three to five days from your vagina. Ew, <laughs> yikes forever. You will also suffer each month for many, many years. And society will treat you like garbage. Are you for real? Yes, I am. I think I need some emergency glitter. <laughs> ah, so much better. 
That was a lot all at once. This this game is... Ah, it's a moon. There are coins at the bottom of the fountain. Yes, those are people's wishes. Can one pay for wishes? People nowadays think they can buy everything with money. I wish I could throw a coin and ask for my happiness back. Also, does Benjamin transform into a good foxy? Because I would totally go out on a date with him. If he was good. Mm. Are you done here, Miss Fortune? Yeah. <laughs> I wish I could write Japanese, so I could send a cute postcard to my friend Hiro. But where does a ghost live? Stop lying, Miss Fortune. Ghosts are not real. You're just jealous because you don't have a ghost Yeah! Friend. Oh my. Looks like this area is closed to the public. Ah, uh, damn. Look, a paddle pop! We'll have to sneak past the janitor to get to the other side. Don't let her see you. Otherwise, she will lock you in and call your mummy. Uh, don't worry. I'm like a sweet little ninja. I could hide behind those boxes, right? Great idea. Hide behind a box until she turns her back to you. All right, I'm ready. Let's do this. Hide behind a box? <laughs> like a little ninja lady. Well done, Miss Fortune. Now... Wait for her to turn her back to you and... And then kill her from behind? What? No, what? No. Why? That's what the ninjas do in movies. No. I've seen like all of them. <laughs> no death. You, mommy? Well, this isn't a movie, so just do as I say. When she turns around, you can jump out and keep moving. Uh, all right, oh my god, it's got like a bird face. I'm like Say. the shadow ninja master. She never saw me. Don't celebrate just yet. There's one more box you have to sneak past. You better watch me when I name this one. Look away. Look away. For <laughs> 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 dude, I can't. I made it. Little ninja lady is the best. Well done. Thank you. Get this game, everyone. Get it. It's like four or five years old. It's so good. This one looks like the other one that didn't look like the other ones. You see? Yes. So you know. Yes. <laughs> oh, look. It fits. Ooh. The path to Sonar City is twisted by the malevolent games from the beyond. What? A path? To where? Don't pay any attention to these silly rocks. All right, we take it with us. Here we are, and nobody's us coming. Like a ninja. You proved your ninja skills back there, Miss Fortune. But I'm pretty sure I was the best at hiding back there. No, that doesn't count. You're not a little lady like me. You're just a boy. Oh, you'll see. I'm much, much more than that. <laughs> now you should go and meet the wolf. Got it. Meet the wolf, maybe pet it, and get Benjamin's address like a ninja. <laughs> there's an envelope in there. You see it hanging? Look, I will read there's you. There's a note. It must say where the fox lives. We need to take it. Uh, I can't reach it from here. We need to find a key to open the cage. I'll find that key. You'll see. You'll see. Love yourself, chat. Gah. Oink. Hello. Are you Benjamin's cousin? You know, that fluffy fox with the most dearest big blue eyes. No? I don't know anyone called Johnny. Who's that? I'm talking about Benjamin. Benjamin! The sweet looking fox that ended up stealing my happiness. I'm not that into him anymore. Maybe you should stop talking to him and find a way inside the cage, Miss Yeah, that's a good point. You uh, make a good point right. there. I'll be back, Wolf, and we'll sort this out about Benjamin. Give him some glitter. Do you think there could be a game there? I don't know. Let's go and see. Quietly. Like a little ninja. Got it. Like. Little lady, Miss Fortune, the ninja lady. Hey. 
Maybe we can find a clue in the computer. Yeah, but it needs the password. I'll find it. We'll find. We'll find it. I'll check those buckets. Mm, look, I found a paper with some numbers on it. Keep it. It might be helpful. Okay. Eighty. Wait, hold up. It says six. It says eighty nine forty five, but then there's a little thing saying six. Should be on this side, shouldn't I? Hmm. 8645. <gasps> Is there a key in here? Oh, another doll. <gasps> when broken hearts are chosen to receive the gift from the beyond. A gift, you say? A gift, huh? What's that? Nothing. Nothing. We're on the same page, Little Miss Fortune and I. If the wolf runs at you ready to attack, then you should not have any regrets about your life because you'll most probably die. That's something we can all live by, honestly. <laughs> because we'll probably die if there's a wolf running after us. <laughs> so if I don't have regrets, the wolf will let me pet it? What? <laughs> She's the best. She's the best. So 86.45, right? Check out my computer skills. I bet the password is this one. Wait, Miss Fortune. I think you're holding the paper upside down. Don't interrupt me. I know what I'm doing. Keep she knows doing what it. you're doing, man. Give us some space. God. Hey, you there? Yeah, I was in the toilet. LOL, OMG, WTF. No need that info. How's that ear infection? It's fine. Super. We can talk some other time. Take care. I forgot to tell you about there's a spare key inside the safe. If you need it sometime, it opens all the doors and cages. Code is 27581. Okay, I don't think I need it at the moment. I already have one, but thanks. Today. Feeling much better today. How's the bear doing? It keeps sucking that popsicle. Is that normal? I'm not sure, but I like to watch Winky Face. LOL, gotta go fix Calvin's cage. Huh, a secret inside? Let's see. Two, two, seven, eight, one. Let's fing go. Yes, I'm the best little ninja lady. I got the key. Let's go. Gravy, take it. Uh, uh huh. Time to meet the wolf. Nothing can possibly go wrong. Uh -huh. Come, Wolfie, come. <laughs> Let me pet you. I'm a nice person. I'm so worried. I'm so worried. <gasps> Wolfie? Ah, <gasps> oh, damn it. What scared him away? Why can't the little lady just pet the wolf? Oh, that was. Unexpected. Not really. <laughs> usually run away from me. That's too bad. But hey, the note is right there. I'm gonna take it. Dude, he's trying to kill me. My evil cousin's address. <laughs> it's weird he calls him an evil cousin. Hookstegan 15. Open fields. Close. It's Benjamin's address. Good. Now we can get that stolen happiness back. All right, sweet. It looks like the fastest way to the fox is by boat from Phantasmagoria. Wait a minute. Are you telling me we are going to Phantasmagoria? <gasps> it seems that way. Yes. Yeah! Oh, I always wanted to go. Yes. <laughs> and fade to black. Dude, this music. Are you up for another banger. round of questions? While Absolute banger. Sure. My question answering skills are all warm up. Great. It's like a Great. candy cane back and there. As usual, 
Just be honest and you'll do fine. All right, chat, I'm going to be honest. First question. Have you ever heard this question before? This question before. The question he asked or the question he's about to ask or the question itself is... No, no. Nah, you mean this one? Yes, I have not heard that question before. All right, second question. Go on. Have you ever lied to a friend? Every day. Every day in every way. Do I, do I want to come and have dinner at 6 p.m. with your children? Love to, absolutely adore it, for sure. time in school. Charlene still believes my daddy comes and picks me up after school. Oh, I no. just walk behind the trees and sneak home when she's not watching. That's so sad. If you say so. Now, for the last question. Have you ever seen someone die? Have I ever been around someone they died? I mean, I've seen, obviously... I've never been around at the actual time of the said death, but I've seen death. Does that make sense? Other than in ninja movies? No. They die in funny ways Cut. in ninja movies. Don't tell mommy. I won't. Thank you for your honesty again, Miss Fortune. You're welcome. We're getting really close to Phantasmagoria now. Yeah, I can hear. <laughs> Exciting. What? This looks like the creepiest place to ever exist. It's a ticket! Please don't play with my feelings. It can't be a ticket. Are you sure? It looks like a ticket to me. It can't be. There it goes know. lying again. What? Is that a skeleton? <gasps> Creepy. <laughs> Damn it, I was hoping I'd give him some glitter skeleton. Oh! What? A ticket? For real? Yeah! Little spooky! <laughs> thank you! That, no, thank you! You're welcome, Miss Fortune. Now, let's go find a boat to the fox, remember? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <gasps> a ghost! Damn, that's creepy. Miss Fortune, please mind your language. <laughs> but I got scared. It's totally understandable. Totally. That's no excuse. Okay. Okay. okay, what's it going to turn into? <laughs> They're all happy now. The ghosts are happy. That clown is f***ing... That clown is from chapter one, It. Miss Fortune deserves to have a fun time. So try to make the right choices for her. The balloon. All right. Oh, so frozen food that's out in a non-refrigerated area? Whoa! What the f <gasps> Sorry about that. I was just trying to pull your leg. If you do it one more time, I'll just shut my eyes tight and see nothing. Look at the little fox. Oh, look at him go. This looks like Benjamin, but creepier and angrier. Yeah, let's let's give Benjamin what we really feel about him. Yeah! Flex it, boy! Oh, the smell of freshly made candy is delightful. Ah, yes. So from your early days? Yeah, the early There's days. There's some candy on the ground. I could use the party hat to make my own mixed candy cone. Come on, Miss Fortune. Don't even think about it. I'm doing it. Ugh. Really Scooby-Doo at Movie World? Some of it? If you were me, and we're at a carnival, and there's some candy on the ground. Would you want to eat just a little bit of a big trash goblin? Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat something. Yeah. Of course, it's free candy, delicious. Uh, 
Let's just note the cigarette butts that she's inhaling. And also the candy with the wrap is still on. Oh my God, I'm tripping balls. Never have bad candy. What is it, Miss Fortune? I don't know. I think the candy made me feel bad. Well, I told you not to eat it. Yeah, that's Let's true. Go. Oh, sweet. That haunted house must be <laughs> Is this the ride you want to spend your ticket on? <laughs> yes, I want to go to the horror house. I love horror. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. All right, then. Have a pleasant ride. Uh, I'm glad the, uh, the cat enjoys it. Oh, sh**. Buzz saws. Kitties. Smoke. Alien. She's all right. She's okay. She's fine. She's happening. So good. Oh no! Please don't throw up. You think you're going to puke? No. I don't want to. But the Roy went Not again. It was fun. All right, good. Take a deep breath, and you'll soon feel better. Great. She's fine. Okay. Good. Good. Now let's go find that boat. That boat. <gasps> okay. I'm okay. See, she's she's elated. Here. Ah, oh, there's a bunch of games here. Can I play one? Oh, of course. You must play one before we leave on the boat. I just love it here, don't you? Who <laughs> doesn't? I'm not playing the shoot the fox now. game. That's what he wants me to play, Massacre. What the? Wacker Fox Massacre. This one is free. I want to play it. Oh, no. please! I did play it. Play it as much as I did. I did say that. I just wanted really? to. All right. Well, check this out. Now with real. I bullets. did chat. No. I Don't did. Say. I. I don't want to. I'm not touching. Game. It looks like it. Aww. I was not touching anything there. You saw, my hands were free of the keyboard and the mouse. Check this out. I can get a reward ticket if I win. <laughs> I'm gonna play this. Please, go ahead. I can't wait to see what it's about. Are these tiny foxes like Benjamin? They're dangerous foxes. Pretend they all stole your eternal happiness and whack them, whack them. Okay. <coughs> Boing. <coughs> Sorry. Head down. I didn't. <coughs> Whacking misfortune. Mr. Voice, can I get a balloon? Because my mommy never gave me one. So maybe you can give me one. Well, you know we can't afford any, <gasps> but look, what's that? That was a balloon from oh, earlier. Balloon. Is it for me? Yeah, it's yes. for you. Okay, <laughs> thank you. Ah, uh, yes, 
my luck. Oh, Miss Fortune, I'm sorry about the balloon. Don't worry. Thank you anyway. Hello, I'm Miss Fortune, Ramirez Hernandez, and I want to know the future of me. Well, thank you. <laughs> Once you see the beyond, the beyond sees you. And you can be sure it will be coming for you. <gasps> the beyond is coming for me? <laughs> What's the beyond? Want to try again? <laughs> yes, again. What you see in the beyond is not what you see, but what you don't see. Oh, really? <laughs> Talk about crazy. She's crazy, Want dude. To try it again, then. I kind of do. I kind of really yeah, do, I want, I, I want all the fortune. Okay, okay. Again. Tell me my fortune! You are being lied to at this very moment. Trust me, Mimi. Don't trust anything. Oh, really? Who is lying to me? Is Benjamin lying to me? It's Chad, isn't it? What? Did a mother crow just fly into the goddamn fortune machine? Oh no, too bad. Yes, poor little birdie. Maybe he was flying drunk. You know, like my mommy did once and crushed that is. I didn't kill a crow! This little bird crushed with its body, you know? Yes, I get it, Miss Fortune. It's still sad. It crushed. Shake this boat out. It's like a black swan. How cool is that? Really, really cool. Tell me about it. Anyway, this boat will take you where you need to go. You mean to Benjamin's house? Yes. And it's just one golden just coin. Just one golden coin. I got the sweet chocolate coin reward. Is that good? I don't think that would... <laughs> no, see, it's fine. Oh, look at that. Well, are you ready to leave? I think it's time to leave. I think I've done everything in Phantasmagoria. This is going to be so cool. I hope we don't get attacked by pirates, though. <laughs> or the crow. Yes! What's that? Yes! Well, yes! You, see, you know. But tell me, I'm curious now. We don't have time for Did that. Did he just say just there's a kraken? Uh, but now I'll think about it forever. Uh. Raptic, how you going? Oh, kraken. If you appear in front of me, I will see you, and if I see you, I will know it is you. Sweet Kraken, come up in front of me right now. Ugh, what's a freaking Kraken? <sighs> hey, this place is very quiet. Very quiet, Is one allowed to talk? Shh. Anyway, I was thinking... What were you thinking? Is the Kraken available for petting? You know, like... Uh, some pet doggies, some pet kitties. I want to pet the kraken, if it's possible. Well, I heard you could lure it out with fish. Oh, with fish is that possible? Rodrigo? Look, Rodrigo, we need to talk. I don't know what the kraken is, but I'm very curious. So I'll just place you here and see what happens. Rodrigo! <gasps> what is this? There's the Kraken. Come on, pet the Kraken. I got a cheap at a Kraken. Your opportunity. Oh, dude. Uh, just my luck. But hey, don't be sad. We're getting close to the eternal happiness. That's why I need Rodrigo. I've that all day. It's not my fault. The fox stole it. Lies. Oh, yeah. Lies, my baby Jesus Christ. Hey, mysterious. Are you taking me now to the house of Benjamin? You know, that blue-eyed, soft, fluffy fox who happens to be a great artist and stole my happiness? You don't seem to want to talk about it. And why is that 
you collect coins. That's how you pay for your random food, right? Misfortune. Just leave him alone. No, he wants to hear. Anyway, do you like to eat sushi? I know about sushi because I have a Japanese ghost friend. By the way, can you speak Japanese? I need some translations. Do you know what this means? Kiriwa doko desu ka? So you don't know, huh? You know, I have never been outside this late by myself. Morning. Do you go outside by yourself this late every day? Yeah, do you? Are you going to eat my chocolate coin? Huh? Because I'm a bit hungry. She's a bit hungry. Ah, stop talking. Ah, why should I stop talking? Nobody else is talking. Hey, Mysterious, where are you going? Wait. Oh no, can he swim? Hello? What? That's what happens when little ladies ask too many questions. It makes people want to drown <laughs> themselves. No! Oh, stop it. I'm pretty sure he'll be fine. You can't kill death, Look, chat. We have arrived. You cannot kill you cannot put that on me. That is on that is on somebody else. This place looks nice, huh? Ooh, lots of kids' toys and birds flying away from the area. Desolate winds. Seems very festive. Check that out. It's the toy graveyard, I'm telling you. Whatever you say, Miss Fortune. Can I glitter them? Gotcha. What time is it? It's getting really dark. Mr. Voice, are you there? Hello? There's something wrong here. Something very wrong. What's wrong, Mr. Voice? What do you mean? It's coming. Hide. Hide. I don't know what, what you're playing, but if you scare me, I'll close my eyes. Hero! Hero? Where's his family. hat? This is your family, see? From the woods. Say hello. And now, say bye-bye, baby Stony, because we're leaving. <laughs> Have a lovely one, oh, Ali. Yeah. Arosa, how you going? Foot got stuck. Oh, no. You're gonna have to saw it off. I've seen the... Be a ninja. Ooh. What are you running away from? Is it the fox? I'm pretty sure it was the fox. No, it's the monster. I saw it again. You don't know what you're talking about. Yes, I do. I saw it. Save yourself! <gasps> fox! He's got a VCR! <laughs> don't Sorry, camera. make any sudden moves. He's got a camera. I think I'm gonna get up and talk to my friend Foxy, who's apparently Gandalf with that staff of his. How you going, Benjamin? you beast stop it you're scaring him away oh benjamin Only benjamin <laughs> why dude why boo you boo <laughs> poor benji 
Please, Miss Fortune, stop and listen to me. There's something I need to tell you. What is if it? If you keep running, you'll end up badly hurt, and I don't want that. You're too important. But I want to find Benjamin. He was nice to me. Trust me, he's dangerous. Stop running, please. <laughs> Listen, I think Mr. Voice has nefarious reasons. But if does listening to him make anything bad? So I reckon I should keep running? Or is he going to tell me his, his, his goddamn mysterious game that's going on right now? What's this? Really? You don't remember me saying if you keep running, you'll end up hurt. Uh-huh. I know I could have been more specific, like... Hey, Jay, lovely. trap up ahead. Stop or you will be hurt. But I felt like getting straight to the point. Okay, okay. Thank you. Who left a bear trap here anyway? I haven't seen any bears. Well, I don't want to point any fingers, but it was obviously the fox. Liar! Also, I don't like the fox. Fox. I have what you call foxophobia. That's not Is what it's that called. True. Yes, I swear. Now let's focus on the eternal happiness again. Huh. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Look, now the bear trap is happy. Oh, this makes me think about Bubsy. You know? Did, did I show you Bubsy the teddy in the secret spot? He will be very sad to know about this. You know, these bear traps. Because he's a teddy bear. He lives in a world of fantasy where there are no bear traps. And if he will go in the woods, he will see this and not know he's dying. Now I see Bubsy being killed by a bear trap. That's how it is now. He's dead. Bubsy died. What are you talking about? About Bubsy, don't you listen? Yeah. Let's keep going now, Miss Fortune. Bye, Bubsy. Trapped dead in the bear trap. Let's see what this one says. It's stuck. Huh. <gasps> Runestones. I got an achievement. What does it say? The elimination of Prime Me will dissolve the filth of the beyond. Oh, really? Am I Prime Me? Hmm. Hmm. Take it's it with stuck. me. It's stuck. Huh. I've used it for all it's worth. I got all six dolls. Let's go. The games you enjoy. You can have them all. Oh, nice. Plushy. So, it would be misfortune. I have a couple of questions for you. Are you ready? I'm ready. Yeah, I'm ready. Wonderful. <laughs> now, just be honest and think about it before answering. Shoot. First question. Do you believe in magic? <sighs> I believe in magical elements. You know what I mean? Like, doesn't have to be uh, something appearing out of thin air. I believe in the principle of, like, magical things. So I'm going to say yes. Yes, yes, I do. When mommy and daddy scream, I go to my secret hiding spot. And in my secret spot, they never drink cues and never scream at me. That's magical, don't you think? <laughs> oh, yes. Yes, it is, my sweet child. Moving on, second question. Do you trust me? I don't, I don't trust him. No, I'm going to say no. Nah, you're just a voice in my head. Mommy talks to herself a lot too. She says it's her inner demons and that they just keep them away. Oh my God, the sorry geez. to hear that. Hi, are you my inner demon? Me? A demon? <laughs> no. Nah. You can't be a demon, not with that silly voice. <laughs> well, anyway, now for the third question. Are you afraid of dying? I think everyone has a fear of death. You know what I mean? There's times when it weighs a lot more on your mind. But I don't worry about it now, you know? I, I don't have reason to. Right now, no. But, like, have I been afraid? Of course, everyone's afraid. Going to where you don't know what will happen. So I'm going to say, ultimately, yes. I'm, I've, I'm, I'm afraid of what happens after death. Yeah, I'm going to say yes. 
Yes, I am. I don't know if I will like being dead. It's like too mysterious here. Yes! Know? What if I can't bring my glitter? Ah, uh, what about that? Well, I guess you'll find out when you die. Looks like there's going to be a storm. Oh no, I hope it doesn't rain that much. I don't like my feet getting wet. I'm a little lady, you know. She is a little lady, huh? Hey, look at that. What's that? I think we're here. <gasps> Benjamin! Stay cool, Miss Fortune. I'm cool. I'll keep an eye out here while you go inside and look for clues. I'm sure that Fox has hidden the eternal happiness here. Make sure the cabin is empty, and if you see the fox, run. No. All right. No, we're not going to run from the fox, Benjamin. Oh, it looks like Benjamin's good at cutting wood. Foxes are known for he cutting wood. He must be so muscular. <laughs> yeah! Is there anything over here? Nope. Be brave, Miss Fortune. It's it's also warm okay. here. I will look around. Maybe I can find my eternal happiness. I like if this Benjamin place. Benjamin has it. I ask him to share that prize with us, and everything will be fine. Agre agreed, little Miss Fortune. Agreed. Oh. Is this Benjamin's? He got some sweet style. I like it. I like it too. Glitter. He's got a console. Do you reckon that's it? Nintendo consoles were like gray, you know? That looks like a Sega something. Whoa, a video player. Bonsu. In the woods. Oh, okay. Let's see. Benjamin's on TV. <laughs> 1993. Is that the monster? Benjamin's tape. Just, we'll just leave that. You can't say I killed a VCR player, all right? Maybe I can fix it. <gasps> Lit up! Happiness to the video player! <laughs> it's fixed. All is fixed in the world. Oh, what a cozy couch. Is oh, the that couch. Benjamin's diary? I won't spy on Benjamin's personal stuff. That looks like Mimo. What the hell is that? It looks like Benjamin likes to educate himself. I like that in a fox. <laughs> the meaning of love. When hatred wants to be loved. The fun stories of a boring man. <laughs> They gotta hit me like that, huh? The upside of being a spirit animal, communication key to cooperation, learning how to be gray, death after life. Mmm, that tea smells like roses and lemon. lemon. I bet it's called Benjamin's Blend. Blind. Because I can almost smell his paws blending the ingredients. Maybe I should try it out. I think that's even more weird if you drink somebody else's tea, like cooties and stuff. I think if I drink it, I'll go on like a massive trip. Mm. It definitely tastes like his fluffy balls. She's blushing. Mmm, delicious. Ugh. What do you mean worst sausage game is? Don't throw... Oh, she Benjamin? threw up. Peanut butter? What? <gasps> Benjamin, I'm really sorry I broke your video player, but you stole the eternal happiness. 
It was promised to me if I beat the game. I really want it back. We can totally share it if you want. Are you afraid of the thunder, Benjamin? Don't worry, you can hold my hand if you want to. Oh, what are you? Is this a kiss? Is this really happening? What is that? Is that your diary? Oh, yo! You want me to read it? Is that what you're afraid of? I think I saw him too. Feeling no stomach aches, only gas. It's chat. I go help missing victims in town. Morgo know I'm here. Morgo play old trick. Trick, trick many times now. But it make mistake. One victim can hear its voice inside her head. Victim code misfortune is nice code. Morgo can't hear us say boss. She must be rescued, but I follow steps. I saw Morgo take shape scary. That's Morgo. You can't hide the children. What? Follow, follow, follow Benjamin. Follow Benja. That's easy. Are you rescuing me, Benjamin? Like if I was a girl in trouble? Oh, sh she fell. My God, dude. Is there a time when she doesn't? Benjamin, where do you go? That's a lot of... Wait, did he just shed all their fur? Oh, no. Is this... Benjamin. Damn it. There's a hole behind the painting. Hello? I can't reach it. I'm a little lady, you know. Uh-huh. Such a clever little lady. Yeah. I'm so smart, chat. Can you... Do you see that? Time to use my ninja skills. What a bad crack. Be quiet. This is a ninja mission. Benjamin, are you here? So it was Benjamin placing this. But Benjamin seems so nice. He's Maybe trying to get Morgo. For that monster. Hmm, a picture of a key. There's a key behind Interesting. it. My ninja senses are telling me to climb up on this chair. Definitely do it. And now we just... Hmm. A real ninja lady always touches everything. <laughs> A secret button. Yeah, we got it. We... Has there ever been a time in human history when somebody has seen a big old red button and not pressed it. <laughs> come, on. come on, guys. Come on. All right, then. I push the button. Is that water? That was easy. Yeah. All right. Time to find Benji. Oh. Oh, that was unfortunate. I hope things get better when I got the eternal happiness. She okay, cracked her face open. Let's finish this. Get up. Get up, Rock. Get, get up. up, Miss Fortune. Get up, Rock. You gotta feel it in your basement. You're stronger than you think. You gotta get the brawn. You've been knocked down before. I get knocked down, but I get up again. You ain't ever gonna keep me. Did you let that stop you? Miss Fortune down. <laughs> get up, Miss Fortune. You can do it. Because. You? Because... You're a little misfortune! You're a little lady! You are the little lady misfortune! Let's go! <laughs> oh.
Hooray! Okay, I'm out again. Anyone here? Bungie? Mr. Voice? Benjamin! <laughs> Give it a pat. Oh, a baby deer. So sweet. Aww. Mm, dream come true. I'm petting the baby deer. <laughs> now give it some glitter. Yeah. This is how we do things, little misfortune town. Uh oh. Is that Benjamin's bag? Benjamin? Are you around? He must be in trouble. I'm very disappointed in you, Miss Fortune. Ah, there you are. Hey, have you seen Benjamin? I think he's in trouble. Didn't you hear what I just said? I'm very disappointed in you. Mr. Voice, please, stop playing games. You have lied to me all the time and that's very sucky. I knew I couldn't trust you. What are you talking about? Benjamin made it really clear with a picture he showed me. You're the one taking the children. And I... I'm not the hero of this game, right? I guess the eternal happiness was all a lie. Got him! Stop this nonsense. We have to keep playing my game. You can't make me. Yes, I can. Stop that! Then play with me. You need to find your eternal happiness. I'll give you a clue. It's at home. Waiting for you. I'm sick of that eternal happiness. I don't want it anymore. Rach, you can't say that. That would break the rules. You heard me. I don't want the eternal happiness anymore. She doesn't want it. I won't tolerate this behavior. I'll be waiting for you at home. Now, tell me where Benjamin is. What do you do to him? Freaking monster. Freaking monster, my guy. It's so annoying. Let's see what's inside. Maybe a clue where to find Benjamin. <gasps> Is that Benjamin as a baby? Oh, so cute. At the end of the road, you'll realize you already signed the deal. At what? the end of the road, you will realize you already signed Did the I make deal. Did I make a deal with the devil? Deal, you say? Oh, God. This, oh, I wonder if she'll read it out loud, but I'll read it. For the students of the University of Send Deceit Technology, protect the course, three-step guide, three-step guide to exterminate parasitic beings from the beyond. Introduction, as the ultra-reality forms in hand with the concept of time, new realms outside the constituted F-E-R-E-E, -E -E -E, five realms of essential existence have appeared. After the ultra-war, thousands of beings were discovered as byproducts of the war. They created for themselves a new realm. We, we refer to it as the beyond. This is really mysterious. The beyond is in simple terms, a place of extreme absurdity with no logical laws of physics. We can't allow such beings inside the free at the moment. Since the foundation of our reality is based in the energetic and ethical values of the ultra reality before the ultra war, the beyond is still a misunderstood realm. We haven't yet found the pieces to connect with it in logical manner. The few patterns we recognize are the behaviors of some visitors also known as parasites. They normally enter the third reality, AKA Pandora and seek fresh meat to lure into the beyond. What? And that's why we need the protectors. The protectors are the only ones with the capability of seeing the imbalance between realities. And using the tools available inside the ultra reality, protectors will help victims and guide them into Senesidi. The guidance provided in this book must be followed with great responsibility. Comes great power. Uh, never skip a step. For each victim, the protector returns to Senesidi. The protector will be rewarded with new levels, tools, and more steps to follow. Step one, the protector must locate the victims and the parasite. Protector's parasite case P0101222 Borgo. Evaluate the victim is in need of assistance. If so, then proceed to step two. Need of assistance checklist. Let's see if we're on this. The victim seems to be forgotten his or her identity. Well, we know we're little misfortune, but we don't really see faces of adults. The victim is already dead, but doesn't realize it. The victim believes the illusions of the beyond are real. The victim sympathize, sympathizes with the parasite. The parasite. 
Checklist of Parasite, Morgo, deforms reality into absurdity. Parasite seems friendly, yet it lures the victim to play dangerous games. It shapeshifts into a human-animal creature. It quickly learns about the environment. Language and culture are not an issue for this parasite. Large flocks of blackbirds will appear near the parasite. You are being lied to at this very moment. These birds are the eyes of Morgo, giving him an overview of his playing ground. Use this round to help the victim become aware of the parasite. The protector can, for example, write and paint simple messages in public spaces to increase awareness. It is strictly forbidden to inter interact directly with the victim. It could lead to irreversible trauma inside the victim's mind. If the parasite kills the victim, you'll need to proceed to step three immediately. Paint? I like to paint. Prepare for direct contact with... With the what? Now I will never know. Benjamin! All right, I guess I'll take the train back home. Now when I look at this, I can see what Benjamin tried to warn me about. He knew all along. Such a foxy boy. <laughs> he is such a foxy boy. Okay, I'll wait here. Waiting, waiting for a little while. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna talk to myself. So, Miss Fortune, how have you been? Okay, I have this, like, weird day. I saw monsters, I saw dolls, I saw Benjamin, and then I went to the zoo and everything was everywhere. And then I realized Mr. Voice had lied to me a lot. And he took Benjamin. And now I'm alone. I don't like being alone. Wow. Sounds like you had one hell of a day, Miss Fortune. I have. The train is here. It was a nice chat, Miss Fortune. <laughs> Talk to you later. You go, girl. <laughs> She's so good. Hero! Oh, I wish I had my coloring book with me. Ugh. Hello, Hiro. I didn't recognize you. He's just chilling with an alien. Such a coincidence that you're on the same train as me. You know, I had a big fight with the silly voice in my head. I get the feeling that Mr. Voice is not who he says he is. Have you ever heard voices in your head? I know Hira. What does it mean? It's the monster! Consequence, be aware of the consequences! Help Hira, we gotta help him! We gotta help him! Hira, pull my hand! Stop you, coward! to see Hiro again. I wonder what that monster did to him. Ugh. Now I have to walk all the way back home alone. This is the last time I follow a voice in my head. If Benjamin was here, he would walk with me. Ugh. Benjamin was warning me all the time. All the time. I couldn't see it. I wanted that eternal happiness so bad. I'm a silly little lady. That's what I am. Oh. At least I had fun at Phantasmagoria. <laughs> I'm gonna tell mommy about it. Yeah. Ugh. Good kick. I gotta say that's a good kick. Uh oh. Uh oh. It's it's teens. Excuse me. I'm talking over here. 
Well, if that's how you treat the little lady, then give yourself a fuck. <gasps> I'm gonna use that in everyday life. You can give yourself a fuck. Oh, I think we're about to. Look left and right. Look left and right, little misfortune. We warned us about this. Oh, the... I'm so worried about crossing the road. Oh, Jesus Christ. Huh, where's the car? Is that a goma gown? No, you give yourself one. Unbelievable, Kali. All right, what's what's happening I indoors? Lights. I like them. Mommy, I'm back. Hello. Got a bad feeling about this, dude. <laughs> if this monster's hurt Bubsy, I'm gonna be so. F I'm gonna. This ain't good. Congratulations, you reached the end of my game. Leave me alone. I'm looking for Mommy and Benjamin. There's no eternal happiness for you. I don't even care anymore. Yeah. Of course you care. Yeah. You know your Mommy needs it. It's your responsibility. Yes, I guess you're right. Good. Good. Ready for a new game? If I play alone, Will you give me back Benjamin? I guess I will, but only if you truly commit to the game. Go on. Okay. Tell me Splendid. more. You will love my new game. I'm what? <laughs> this is Miss Fortune. She's a wonderful child from a not so wonderful family. A little sparkle for you, and a little sparkle for you. Wait a minute. Didn't I do this already? What? No, you're not doing this correctly. Then you say something about me dying today, which is totally not true, by the not way. Not sure. <clears throat> Wait. Stop talking, please. Are we going to play another game, or is this like what? I don't understand. If you can reach the end of the game, I'll give you eternal happiness. And then you say deal, and I say yes. Stop ruining this! No! Um, eternal happiness? No deal! Wonderful. Fantastic. Ready to... Wait. What? No deal. No. No. Uh, how about this? Go on. What if the fox was waiting for you in the hallway? If the game is about Benjamin and you leaving me alone, I'll play along. Sure, sure. I promise you know the way. Do we check in on Bubsy? Huh, is this a new dance song? She's not dancing to it. She doesn't like it. I don't want to. I can't. I, 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 it doesn't let me do anything until I hold shift. God damn it, dude. Oh, no. Not again. You promised he wouldn't be like last time. That was a beautiful example of cause and effect. Ma, you lied to me. I don't want to play this game anymore. Fine. Let me come up with a new game to play. Knock, knock. Who's there? No, I don't want to play with you anymore. 
Knock, knock. Who's there? You're scaring me. Stop it. Leave me alone. Knock, knock. Um, I'm going this way. Knock, knock, who's there? I can go back through that door. Knock, knock, who's there? Knock, knock, I have to go back that way. Knock, 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 who's there? Knock, knock, who's there? Jesus Christ. Knock, knock. What happened here? Where's Bubsy? My secret spot. He won't find me in there. Bubsy? Bubsy, Bubsy, Bubsy. Open this door right now, Miss Fortune. We have a new game to play. No, I told you already. I don't want to play with you anymore. Pass, Tony. Teach me how to be brave. Oh, sh So now we're playing hide and seek. I love that game. Nah, let's not. No, leave me alone. Just leave her alone, All dude. Right. Just so you know, my game is the only thing keeping you alive. Is that one more of your lies? I will live forever with Benjamin. And there's nothing you can do about it. Will you please stop talking about that fox? He's been trying to take you away from me all the time. And his ugly paintings. Ugh. They're pretty. Oh, no, spot you on. don't talk like that about my baby. Yeah, you don't talk about that. You know what? What? I'm done with you. I want you to leave. Right now. You don't have a clue about what's going on. This is not the last game you play with me, Miss Fortune. This is only the beginning. <coughs> oh, dude, he is, he is... You silly little child. Another toy for my collection. You're mine to play with for eternity. I'm sick of you being a bully. Yeah! You'll see, Benjamin will come back and save me. Better. No, we made a deal. You crossed the path, and now you're mine. Leave her alone, dude! <gasps> Benjamin! Benjamin! Uh. How did you get here? There's nothing you can do. She belongs to me. Get it! In his goddamn heart! Kaka! <laughs> no. No! Benjamin. Benjamin. Looking in the, into the sun. Are we good? Goddamn cows out, huh? <laughs> if there's puke, dude. If there's puke. Okay, thank God. Is everything back to normal now? Benjamin saved me. Benji, are you around? I guess I have to reveal this. I'll make some improvements. But first, I want to find Benjamin. We all want to find Benjamin. Benjamin, did you go outside? No. Morgo is coming, what? Open your eyes, he's the voice in your head driving you mad. Morgo is coming. Open your eyes. He's the voice in your head, driving you mad. Take that for later, put that in the old uh, pool room. Well, now I know what to call Mr. Voice. Morgo. Benjamin, where are you? Please don't tell me Benjamin's dead. Please don't do it to me. Do 
we need some glitter over here? How about this little, little glitter on this? No. Mom? Okay, Mom's left her cigarette out. October 11th. I couldn't get the happiness for you. What's happening? Mommy? <laughs> this must be a bad dream. somewhere else because I have nothing against it but I have to talk with my mommy first mommy I'm going to go somewhere else with Bengi okay he's the fox that I like I'm a little lady you know that's what I am I guess I was your little misfortune for a while but you need to find your own happiness now. I love you forever. That little thing, did you see that little like two sides gremlin thing? Like a centipede? Was 
Was that me? Yeah, just more handsome. That thing was, I meant to say. Look how happy the puppy is. I mean, who doesn't like, who doesn't like that, you know? Ooh. Oh, we're going to the beyond. Oh, this place is really cold. Oh, God. <laughs> Bruh. I own cats. I have a scythe. What's it saying about me? What is... Oh. Sparkling lady, did I get all of them? Did I did all the, the, the things to make people happy with my glitter? All around disasters seem to disappear. Deep inside the fog, you defeat them. All around disasters seem to disappear. Deep inside the fog, you defeat him. Huh. I guess Mr. Voice game is over now. Benji? Dude, the sands of time are running. Somebody should probably, like, clog that up with some coke or something. That's right, I said coke. Who are you? I'm a little lady. <laughs> Miss Fortune. That's who I am. Lady Miss Fortune? Yes. You could say that. Good. Step inside. We were expecting you. I feel so welcomed. All right, I'm coming in now. What is this place? Where are we going? I gave eternal happiness to 